Welcome back. Thanks so much for staying with us. The Center for Visual Artists in Greensboro has their current exhibition on display. It's called Woven into Our Fibers. And next week they are hosting a discussion that includes all 10 artists featured in the exhibit. Let's say good morning now to Devin McKnight joining us live. She is the Art and Community Coordinator at the Center for Visual Artists, also known as CVA. Good morning, Devin. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So first, if you could just give us a brief overview of what Woven Into Our Fibers is all about. Really just share the concept behind it. Oh, yes. Woven Into Our Fibers features about 10 regional artists who are working with fiber in one way or another. And so we wanted to choose artists who were working with this material in new and creative ways, but also paying homage to the long lineage of um, fiber arts, especially here in Greensboro with uh, the textile industry. Ah, yes, good point. And can you tell us some of the artists that will be featured in the exhibit? Yes, so we have artists like Barbara Campbell Thomas, who's actually a painter, but uses uh, fiber to collage into her paintings. Beverly Y. Smith, who's doing these huge quilts. Um, based on her lineage, her family history. Uh, Cassandra Liuzzo out of Greensboro, who is actually using plastic bags to coil together these big smokestacks. Hmm. Uh, just a few of the artists. Wow, and there's a virtual artist discussion next week, right? So you're inviting people to take part in it. What else? Yes, please. Uh, so we'll have all the 10 artists in discussion together along with the community and it's free. It'll be happening virtually uh, so you can just tap in. Uh, we're hoping to talk about the artist's work, dive a little deeper into it, hear from them directly and talk in general about the diversity of fiber arts today. So that is one week from today, April 11th, but this exhibit is currently on display at the CVA in Greensboro. So people, you're encouraging people to come out right now and be able to see this art. Yes, please come down. It's downtown surrounded by the parks. Uh, we have a lot of events going on throughout the end of the exhibition. So the whole month of April, uh, we've got more in-person conversations. We've got workshops led by these artists directly uh, and then we're ending the show with the cool fashion slow which will um, center sustainable fashion designers you called it fashion flow not show is yeah. that what you said <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're trying to slow down the fashion industry fashion slow ah okay oh very cool well you know i wanted you to be able to mention some other upcoming events that you have associated with the exhibition. So are there any others you'd like to highlight here for our viewers? Um, that's mainly it, but you can come down to the CBA gallery throughout the week and see all of this work in person, which we hope that you can do because most of it, it's so intricately done that you just have to get up close and personal with it. That's a good point. We're showing some beautiful images, you know, on the screen now for people at home, but that does make sense, especially with art exhibits. You just have to take it in, in person, right? It just probably, it just can, you know, take you back sometimes being able to see it. If you can speak to just the fiber art, um, what you were mentioning about the textile rich industry we have in our area that you believe the artists will be able to speak to. Yeah, so we have a few of them are really centering their work around sustainability. Um, so uh, like Gordon Holiday, he's making these really cool kimono jackets and he sews them himself. Uh, he uses found materials, so you'll see different types of cloth um, combined together, like almost a uh, jacket material, jean jacket material mixed with t-shirt material but in these super beautiful patterns. Um, and he's trying to basically take our history of the textile industry here in North Carolina, um, but again, slow it down, mm -hmm. uh, make it sustainable, reuse materials. 
Great Devin information here. Thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. And once again, for everyone at home, woven into our fibers, virtual artist discussion is next Tuesday evening, April 11th. And then the exhibition is currently on display, like we said, at the CVA in Greensboro through the 22nd of April. And to learn more or register for an exhibition event, just head to the website you see on your screen, mycvagreensboro.org.